This is Pasta alla Martina, created by Stanley Tucci. He posted a photo on Instagram, and in the description, he only added the ingredients. The post went viral. Everybody went like, whoa, I wanna make it, I wanna make it. You can find videos, you can find recipes online. So I made this dish for you, and I hope Stanley Tucci approves it. I hope he's happy with this, and I hope you can create this amazing dish, if it's, if it's amazing and uh, bring Stanley Tucci to your kitchen. Thank you, Stanley. Nice. I love pappardelle. To make pappardelle alla Martina, like Stanley Tucci, we need 250 grams of pappardelle, about 250 grams of shrimps, or prawns, you decide how to call them, panet of cherry tomatoes, about 200 grams, 250 grams, about a cup of peas, a bunch of asparagus, two garlic cloves, but if you like more garlic, use more, some basil, white wine, extra virgin olive oil, and salt and pepper. I'm gonna cut the ends of the asparagus and we're gonna cut the asparagus into small pieces like that. And we're gonna cut the cherry tomatoes. And I want them to be juicy too. Just cut them in half. Stanley, I hope I'm doing this right. So first we want to boil the peas and this is the same water where we're going to boil the pasta. I'm gonna put the asparagus, and no salt at the moment yet, okay? And we wanna boil for about five minutes. After five minutes, we take them out from the boiling water. They should be nice and soft. Nice. Now we're gonna get a beautiful pan, and this is top quality news campaign pan. Uh, on a medium heat, we're gonna cook this, okay? Let's be generous with the extra virgin olive oil. It's about maybe five tablespoons. Don't be scared about it. Extra virgin olive oil is good for you. Let's put the garlic in. Garlic is in. And the cherry tomato. Now what we want to do is we want to get the juice out of the cherry tomatoes because the juice is in there. So we wait about three, four minutes until the cherry tomatoes become, become nice and soft and then we start putting pressure on them. We squash them so the juice comes out. Let's put a splash of water in here so we don't burn the garlic. The water will stop the garlic to burn. And the water also helps to get this juice out of the cherry tomatoes, which is what we want. Stanley, I hope you'll be proud of me. And I hope I'm doing this the way you like it. Maybe even better. Now, I like to press on each one because I do want this juice to come out. We need to add the prawns. Also the wine. I don't usually put wine in sauce. I never do that, but Stanley did it, so let's do it too. A little bit of wine. I'm also gonna add the peas and the asparagus. And we cook this for a few minutes until the prawns are ready, because everything else is ready. Prawns, the prawns will be ready in, in less than three minutes. Looks nice, doesn't it? Looks nice, looks summery, refreshing. Now at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be generous with the salt. Put salt, pepper. Everybody likes pepper. It's funny, when I was a teenager, I didn't like pepper. How are we going, Stanley? Please write a comment below, let me know. How am I going here? As you can see, I haven't used the basil yet. Why? Because I don't like to cook the basil. The basil should go right before the pasta. It stays nice and fresh and gives the flavors to your food. If I put a basil in there, we're gonna miss all these beautiful flavors, the smell, the fragrance, you know, we don't wanna miss that. So never, never cook the basil, never. All right, let's put this on the side and now we need to boil the pasta.
the water is boiling, so we're gonna add one tablespoon of sea salt, a generous tablespoon of sea salt. All right, time to put the pasta in. Why don't we put some lemon in this? I love lemon. This is such a Mediterranean dish. It needs lemon, come on. We decided to put wine, Stanley. I'm gonna put lemon for you here. Right at the end, right now, right at the end. Just before we put the pasta in, put a fresh, in, fresh lemon, which brings all the flavors out. Okay, let's take this pasta out. Oh, look at the pappardelle, look at that. Look how nice it is. Take it from al dente. Let's put it in the sauce. Now, it's time to toss. Let's get a Vincenzo's plate mag or pasta water because we do need some pasta water in here. So let's put some pasta water in there. The pappardelle will absorb the water very quickly. Now, this is the moment we've been waiting for. Basil leaf. Basil can go in. And mix all these beautiful ingredients together. Oh yeah. The question is, are you putting cheese on this pasta or no? No cheese. You can put some toasted breadcrumbs. Nice plate of pappardelle. I like how this pasta sits in the plate. So nice. Now all we need is a beautiful sauce to go everywhere. Let's finish it off with a nice basil leaf. You know what? Let's finish it off with some nice, fresh, extra virgin olive oil. It does deserve a little bit on top. And let's go and eat it. So look at this beautiful pasta, look at that. Nice. I love pappardelle. This is the best time of the video recipe, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to eat. So let's get the pasta, let's get the prawn. Oh, this is a big portion. Mm. 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 Refreshing. Summary. Asparagus and peas together. Mm. Very nice. The cherry tomatoes. And I like the skin in it. I can see what the wine is doing. Stanley, I always say, keep it simple. You never go wrong. I can talk. I need water. I always say, keep it simple. You never go wrong. Simplicity at its best. And this is what it's all about. Stanley and your wife, I don't know her name, you guys have created something beautiful. Something so simple that everyone can make. You can make this any time of the year. And if you eat this in winter, it brings you all the way back to summer. So, Great creation. Thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy Stanley Tucci Martina's pasta. But thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. E ora si mangia. Vincenzo's Plate. Mm, no, no, this is Stanley's Plate.